a lot of women have been so trained to think the only value they give to a man is their body. A lot of women wrongly try to hook a man based on sex. Now, as you know, my viral clip saying obsession over the female butt is a gateway to homosexuality. I was I was talking about that. And some girl, she sent me a direct message on Twitter with her naked bottom. And let me uh, show a censored version of this. So this is a uh, this is the dialogue. She says, "Please put your penis in my ass." And she left three praying emojis. And she sent a picture of her butt, and I could see the outline of her vagina. So she's not a man. I roll back to her. No, I refuse. I shared this tweet. She got mad because now it turns out I went to her thing. She's like an internet whore. She sells images to paying beta males. So she was trying to get me to tweet this with her photo, with her screen name, to get paying customers. I didn't do that. And she wrote back to me with more nude images saying that she wants to suck me off. I'm not joking. I had to block that bitch. If you told me that at 39, I'd be blocking women, sending me nudie photos without my consent, I'd say you're joking. <laughs> but that's where we are. She's trying to use her sexual power, which is the only power that she has. She's a series of holes. She's trying to use her holes to get some kind of control over me to either pursue her for attention or to advertise her whore business. I had to block this whore. I think once a girl starts selling her sex at least with what this girl is doing in uh, direct images. She is, she is gone. She is the dog on her hands and knees. The incentive for her is not the pizza. It's the money. Give me the money. And of course, the sexual tension, I'm sure. When a high-value man says, ooh, I like that booty, blah, blah, blah. She is another miracle for the establishment they have blocked her from being a mother, from actually reproducing, got her focused on sex to entice men, to distract men, while never reproducing. All for what? Money? And at the other end, so you have this whore sending nude photos to me, or to, I'm not sure I'm not the only one. I mean, I would like to be special. I'm sure those photos she sent to, uh, you know, hundreds of dudes. If she wrote Roosh on her ass with a marker, that would have meant a little bit more. But So on one end of the spectrum, you have this whore who's just fully leveraging her holes to earn money to use men. And on the other end, you have the empowered, educated woman in grad school who is being brainwashed with these ideas that has the same function of blocking her from reproducing, connecting with a good man. Let's take a look at this girl. <clears throat> So there was a tweet I found from Alexandra K. Let's see what she said. I had a dream last night that infamous pickup artist Roosh V was trying to flirt with me using all his PUA tactics. It's enough reading all this literature on it in my waking hours. I really don't need my brain giving me images of Roosh V trying to sleep with me. 
I am the man of her dreams. <laughs> and if you look at her photo, let's take a look if she didn't block me. <clears throat> okay, you are blocked. <laughs> <laughs> so the man of her dream, she blocked him. If you look at the photo, now, most girls have hundreds of photos of themselves on their phone. I'm not joking. It's hundreds. This is the one she uploads that she displays to the world, which means it's the best one, which means it's hiding serious flaws. Because she, if you take the glasses off and fix her hair a bit. I think she could be okay, but this is like dark shadow in her chin. Something's going on. Secret internet fatty. And the funny thing is she is in front of what looks like a poster board, some kind of conference about how being an empowered woman is good. Let me see if I can read that. Is it trolling? So she's okay. This is, I guarantee you she's doing something like, Toxic masculinity on the internet and how it leads to to harassment. She's doing something like that. So on one side you have the whore, the literal whore, sending me photos of her genitals, trying to stimulate me when I don't want to be, when I didn't ask for it. And on the other end you have this hyper-educated girl who's so disconnected from her sex from her, her, from her feminine needs, that she's having dreams of men hitting on her and doesn't get it, what it means. Hey, idiot, you are attracted to masculine men. Who likes pugs? She is going to refuse it until she, until she dies and do what that chatter earlier the girl who said she's gonna get a soy boy yeah this is what this girl is gonna do to get a soy boy while continuing to dream of me and if the opportunity arises to cheat on that soy boy with a masculine man which their inner core naturally desires Oh. This coffee is making me thirsty. But if there's one thing you can say about me, it was shared by a female reader. And she says, I know my anus would be safe with Rush V. And she does the A-OK -okay sign, which has a second meaning in this case. That's right, girls. I would never get close to that. You can send me butt pictures all day, which I don't want. But you could, and I will not be even tempted by your anus. So what, what is another way they're disconnecting women from their feminine core? They're pushing them into sports. Because what is sports? Sports is a masculine endeavor of competition, of working hard towards a goal to win. This is an innate masculine thing. Men love to compete. They love to win. I'm sure thousands of years ago, the man who speared the biggest buffalo or whatever you know, was carried on the shoulders back home. You know, men love to compete. So they're trying to instill it into a woman. Put the doll down and grab the soccer ball. Go play sports. Go compete. Go wire your brain in a masculine way to win, win, win. And then after they do that, they put boys in their women's sports because the next agenda above female empowerment is inversion of the sexes com completely. So let's take a look at this video clip of a track and field competition that, <laughs> I mean, we're in such clown world that 
I'm just at at a loss, but anyway. Okay, here we have two trans take first and second place in girls track competition. Third place won by a girl who should have won first place. Let's let's take a watch. So here you have the race, all the class. Yeah, let's compete. Let's run, let's win. In first place, the dude crushes. And here's his fate. And I can't even tell who is a girl or not because sports tends to make women take on a more masculine body and gait. But anyway, the point is, yeah, we're going to empower you until we then have to empower the next line of priv privileged class, which is meant to destroy you even further. Because the only thing better on a girl who's probably not going to reproduce because we masculinized her is a man who chopped his penis off. That's even better. That guarantees no reproduction takes place. You know, we, I don't, if you, we, if you remember the live stream I did a month or two ago, we're getting to the point where women will never win in women's sports again. Clown world maximum. This is, I mean, women's sports and women are somehow losing. It's, I can't get my head wrapped around that. I, I really can't. I mean, it's just, no one thinks this is wrong. It's not, the, no one in the media, of course, uh, no one's saying anything. And here we have our, uh, 